So I'm in Topaz Gigapixel version 8, and as you can see here, I've got an illustration up on the screen. This is like a vintage t-shirt design. If I just zoom out a little bit so you can see what we're looking at here. Now I've got a before and after split going on here at the moment. On the left hand side is the before, of course, and on the right is the upscale preview. Now I've upscaled this to the moment. I'll just talk you through my settings. I've got it upscaling by four times to give us an output resolution or file size, should I say, of 4096 by 4096. And I've currently got it set to high fidelity mode. Now if I just zoom in and look at this bit, if you look around the beak and around the feather details, at first I was tempted to go with art and CG because um, a lot of the time for illustrative things, that's kind of, that's quite a good choice. Seems like the obvious choice, but it's actually given me um, results that aren't quite as crisp and sharp, even with the sharpening increased. So my next port of call was then I thought, well, text and shapes can work really well for these vector style artworks. But what I wanted to do is look on this bit next to the sun in this orange area, the sort of the um, paint splattered kind of effect in this orange area. Watch what happens to those when I click text and shapes and it updates the preview anyway. See, it turns everything into these really fine little strange squiggles. And that's because on that mode, although it is actually really good for crisping up, super crisping up like vector lines, it will also try and interpret certain um, certain small shapes as text and other kind of shapes. So as you can see, it's changed the appearance of that a bit too much for my liking anyway. So I found in this instance, high fidelity with some compression, um, some fixed compression on there, and a similar amount of sharpening in this instance is actually what it's gonna give me, um, to my eyes anyway, is the better image. So if I just do a quick um, split screen on that as well, so we can see, you now looking at the fine details, the spray, like the paint spray at the right hand side here, like the overspray, I wanna, I wanna sort of keep that looking almost exactly as it is, but just have everything sharpened up a little bit and obviously, not only is this image sharper, but it's much bigger as well, with it being four times the size. So that is what I would run for this particular image. Now this may change depending on if it had gradients in it or whether it's completely flat colors and um, how much detail there was. This is why you can never just apply one lot of settings to every image in Topaz, Gigapixel or um, Photo AI. Every single image has to be treated differently. I hope this helped.